welcome back to another video. In this week's video, I'm gonna be going through all of my fall favorites with you guys because it is October. And uh, although it looks like November here in the northern part of Finland, um, it's still fall and we're still gonna we're still gonna enjoy all the fall things that there is, such as candles and pumpkins. Yes, I'm going to be holding this pumpkin in my lap during this video, or probably might put it to the side. And I'm also gonna try not to burn my hair. So, um, yeah. Hello, welcome to my little corner. Okay, this is getting annoying, hold on. But I still want you guys to see the pumpkin, so. Watch it. Okay. Hi. Welcome. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're doing great. I at least am. I am procrastinating studying by filming this video, but uh, you don't need to know that. <laughs> anyway, hello. Today I will be going through all of my fall favorites, as you can probably guess from the title. And I hope that I can give you some ideas that you guys could either do during fall or eat or drink or you know whatever um yeah so let's start off with the first category which is drinks fall is uh the beginning of the season of hygge which is my favorite season okay i love summer that's like my favorite season but hygge is awesome as well so obviously drinks are an essential part of hygge uh you all know that i drink a lot of tea um but during fall, I drink a lot of something else, which is not tea, and that is, uh, can you guess it? Pumpkin spice latte. Yes, because I am a basic bitch. And uh, we drink pumpkin spice lattes, but not the ones from Starbucks, because we don't have Starbucks here in the north. Plus, they're oversweet and um, make my, is it liver? No, it's not liver. Make my whole body system just die because there's too much sugar. So I do my own. And um, I, there, you can't buy pumpkin spice in Finland. It's not like a, a spice mix. You know, you have to mix it yourself. And I'm gonna link into the description or the comments the recipe that I use to make pumpkin spice. It's really easy. Um, I don't add pumpkin puree to my pumpkin spice lattes, but uh, they still turn out delicious. So, um, if you want the recipe for the pumpkin spice latte it is the following so for the pumpkin spice latte recipe you're first gonna heat up some water and then I heat up some plant-based milk my choice is usually oat milk in the microwave for about a minute or so and once the water has boiled I add two teaspoons of the Chicano coffee and some water so basically just an espresso shot if you use coffee and then I add some pumpkin spice into the coffee part, or the coffee, you know, it's not coffee, but still. I pour the milk into this whatever container you call it and froth up the milk with one of these IKEA thingies. And then I sometimes add a splash of hazelnut syrup just to give some sweetness to the latte. And then I add the milk. You, I thought this was gonna be a good angle, but apparently it wasn't. And I try to do latte art, but for some reason, I try to make hearts, but it always turns out to look like a little booty. But anyway, I mean, it's still art. So um, you can see it as a heart or you can see it as a booty, whatever. Uh, it tastes delicious. And I usually cover up my art with some pumpkin spice because I said it doesn't work out. And here you see me have a little taste test and it is fantastic. Next up is chai tea. I actually haven't made this today, or <laughs> today, this fall yet, uh, because I don't have chai tea, like a black, or just general black tea bag, so I'm gonna go actually and buy them pretty soon, I think, because uh, I forgot that that's also a fall drink, and it's absolutely delicious. We made it with my friend a few years back when we were watching Hocus Pocus, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, chai tea is great. You can drink it just as it is, like as black tea, or then you can add milk and make it a chai latte, uh, or chai, yeah, chai latte. Um, they're great, love it. 
I used the following recipe. It's basically the same spices almost as in the pumpkin spice latte, but then you just add black tea bags and some water and you let that boil for half an hour and it's ready. Instead of the ground, ground cinnamon, I use cinnamon sticks and instead of ground, um, what's it called? Not nutmeg, ground cloves. I just use regular cloves because they bring more spice and then you can throw them away when you, or take it out from the water, from the tea when it's made. So, recommend 10 out of 10. In general, tea obviously is a very hygge feeling or brings you a hygge feeling, but I like to enjoy it more like the rest of the year. Now, I don't know why I want like all the spices, like the more spices in my drink, the better, even though I usually don't like spicy food, but still. Uh, also obsessed with, uh, still obsessed with the Chico No Coffee, which I've been talking about so much in my channel. Um, Chico's, please sponsor me already. Um, no, just kidding, but um, it is fantastic for you people who love the coffee, taste of coffee, but can't drink coffee. So here it is one more time. Go and buy it, it's great. Uh, if you have any other like re coffee replacements, let me know, but it's probably not gonna be the Chico one because it, e it either is gonna contain gluten or it's just not gonna taste as good. And then lastly is apple cider. It's not one of my like, top drinks but it is pretty nice it's like apple juice and spices so and then if you if you add a hint of white wine mm, it turns into kind of like a light not light like a like a glog a mule i don't know next category let's move on is movies and tv this is not going to be a long list, but I have two, which I'm going to mention as a movie, is Hocus Pocus. Um, it's not like maybe a masterpiece of a movie, but it is great and funny and uh, just brings kind of like cozy vibes. And it's great to watch with your friend Z or alone if you want to, but it's really nice to watch with my friend for friends in general. Uh, I still have to do that this year. Um, sign me if you're watching. That's schedule a, an hour when we're going to watch it. Uh, and uh, as a TV show, Gilmore Girls. It is the most fall show that I know, even though there's like all the seasons around, but I don't know, it's just a very cozy series and I think it's the stars holo, just gives very cozy vibes in general. And oh, I remember I used to watch it with my parents all the time, like during high school and actually like most throughout, I was like a lot, of the time the same age as Rory because it took us forever to watch it. So that was kind of fun. Yeah, and any like, I feel like 90s movies, like 10 Things I Hate About You or all of those, I don't know, I just feel like they're nice to watch when you want to cozy up, you know? And also, if you, the only podcast recommendation I have for you guys is my podcast, the Mom Friend Hotline. You can find it wherever you find your podcasts. I do sometimes listen to my own episodes. Well, obviously when I'm editing, but like afterwards I do like a little check quality check from time to time go and listen to that <laughs> shameless self promo no but seriously um i'm kind of proud of it so next up category is food so the drinks is kind of part of food but not really so i love anything that has obviously to do with pumpkins like pumpkin fries are great it's just like making regular fries that like you cut up the pumpkin into fry size and then you add some salt, some pepper, I usually add some pumpkin spice, and then you put it in the oven for like 30 minutes. Mm, delicious. They don't turn out like as crispy, but they're still really good. Um, any chicken which is in the oven is like delicious for fall. I don't know why, it's just a very fall food. And same with like any root vegetable, is that what it's called? Um, in the oven, also fantastic. Any soup, especially pumpkin soup. I just made it recently and it was so good um, and uh, yeah any other soup in general like vegetable soup which is like mashed up so it's like very puree-ish perfect perfect I actually just bought another pumpkin because I want to make yet I guess either some soup or some pumpkin fries but yeah using like seasonal vegetables is the best thing also like finished pears 
are so good and they're so cute and small i can't i can't handle it and um satsumas the season of satsumas has begun and my c vitamin c intake has risen up to the heavens yet again and my body is thanking me for that probably let's move on to the random category which include anything and everything random into it so um first of all i can mention these nails i usually always put black nail polish at some point during fall and and now i put nail extensions one of my nails has already broken i put these a few days ago but uh these are fun because if i go and like get my nails done and they take like four weeks which is great like that they last for four weeks but after like a week or two i get bored of them and uh, i want them off because they're so long and i'm not used to long nails so or they're not like so long but for my standards they are so uh but these are nice now i like them Ooh, they make me feel kind of fancy plus you can do all like asmr stuff an asmr real video was requested and uh it shall be answered to so stay tuned for that sorry for you people who hate asmr videos but it's been requested multiple times and um i promised to make one and i'm gonna make one so also candles the more the merrier obviously candles um just give automatically a who give vibe to anything and uh, blankets i bought this basket for my blankets my other one's actually now on the sofa so that's why it's so empty uh blankets are great they give a cozy vibe to your home and also a um keep you warm in the cold and dark fall and winter in general but yeah candles i yeah candles are great even though they're like producing toxins into your lungs you know when like i don't know about you guys but when i was younger in school they always showed like lungs of smokers like how smokers lungs would look like and i was like i consume so much candles or burn so much candles because once again i'm a basic bitch i was like are they gonna show at some point like the lungs of people who burn a lot of candles because i'm sure that they're also quite dark and damaged if you really burn them like every single day i don't burn them like as much as some people do um and i always air the room after i've burned candles to get rid of the toxins as much as possible but obviously if you burn candles for many hours straight the toxins are still like in the air and you've been breathing them for many hours so even though i would be ventilating the space i'm still breathing in part of the toxins especially now that i'm sitting between three candles but um you only die once and you live every day. That's my mom's and my motto. I love that because if you believe in reincarnation, you don't only live once. I don't necessarily believe in that, but I do believe in the fact that you only die once, but you live every single day, folks. Um, the study aesthetic. Yes, that's just like, or general, it's just the mood. I love that, especially during fall, like the idea of studying and like staying inside and reading books and stuff. Uh, I actually didn't do that that much. I mean, I do study, but like I should study a lot more. Um, I should be studying right now, but I'm not um, because I'm a good pro procrastinator. But yeah, the aesthetic of studying or being at the library and like studying, you know, the law school aesthetics. I love that. I love the idea of that, but actually getting into it, um, yeah, no. <laughs> no, I actually, I, I really like studying, but not as much as I like the idea of studying. And then I bought these new high-heeled boots, which uh, cost like 15 euros, even though they were originally like around 100, because they're a very good brand. They're from Tamaris. They're a bit of a pain to walk in, like if you walk for multiple hours, is. Is the lighting changing? Oh, what was I saying? The boots. Yes, the boots. They're a bit of a pain to walk in, but they look so good. They make me feel so cute and sexy and um, flawless. Like I could be wearing a trash bag, but still look like I'm on the runway. Plus it's fun because I have a tall boyfriend so I can use tall heels because they're like 10 centimeters, I think. Ish. Well, he, you see them here in the clip, but I'm rolling here at the same time. They're just, they're so nice. So nice. 
so happy with them. Um, thank you, Facebook Market Place. And lastly, the general atmosphere of Hygge is great during fall. It like accumulates the closer we get to Christmas because it gets darker outside and stuff. But now that they're, it looks really ugly kind of outside and it's gray and the leaves have fallen and it's a bit like dark and cold, and, you know? It's great to be inside and like around candle lights and reading a good book or having dinner with friends or just enjoying your own company while watching Disney Plus. Life is great, honestly. I can't complain. And last category are activities, which I've been loving during fall. So firstly is going for walks, especially when there were still leaves in the trees. It's the best thing, really. It's, it's so beautiful outside uh, and just taking really long walks or hikes or whatever. There isn't really much hiking areas here, but there are many nature trails. So that's just been really nice. Either listening to podcasts or being your own thoughts or calling a friend or whatever. It's just, yeah, it's been really nice. Also, photo shoots, obviously. <laughs> Yearly photo shoots. Here I'm going to display some of my images because, because I have taken some great photos this year. Anyway, so yeah, photo shoots. I know that I kind of freeze up <laughs> uh, during the winter with taken like with photography because there is more of a limited amount that you could do i think more like nature photography is maybe nicer during the winter and it's harder to photograph people especially when there's like only a few hours of light outside so like between december and december and january it's usually quite hard i feel like taking pictures outside so i kind of freeze up and only take selfies ha <laughs> no but um yeah a lot of pictures of nature because it's very beautiful here during the winter but fall photo shoots are the best as i mentioned a bit earlier about curling up with a nice book i always fantasize about this but i never do because in the evenings once i get to the point that i was actually gonna read and drink some tea i'm so tired that i just want to go to bed so uh but yeah the idea of curling up with a book by a fireplace preferably but i actually put a fireplace on my tv screen so it, it kind of recreates the same thing, not really, but kind of if I use my imagination very hard. Um, and I don't know why I do this, but I love listening to crime podcasts while I go outside when it's kind of creepy. And uh, no, it does not amplify the feeling of safety for me. I usually feel like there's going to be a murderer right around the corner, but I don't I just uh, it's my strange addiction. And lastly, well, with the cooking, I love the fact that the whole house smells amazing afterwards and or the apartment and uh the i also love listening to jazz music while i cook i don't it just really brings a cozy feeling for some reason so nice also like if you have if you're eating dinner and then you listen to jazz music it's just i don't know it just brings the experience to a whole other level but yeah that is it guys these are all the my fall favorites. I'd love to hear some of your fall favorites, if there are any recipes or drinks or activities that you guys like to do. Do you have any like kind of fall traditions? I know a lot of people talk about Christmas traditions, but fall traditions aren't really talked about. But there are probably still things that you guys do during fall. I haven't been jumping into like leaf piles this year, which is kind of sad because there hasn't really been any leaf piles. Uh, and the same way as in Helsinki and the parks, they usually are big piles of leaves that you can jump into. But that would be really fun. Um, and I kind of miss that, but it's a different kind of fall here. And it's also very nice to experience that. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. As I mentioned, I have a podcast. So if you want to go and listen to that, it's at Mom Friend Hotline. And uh, subscribe for more quality content if you want to. If you want to go and follow me on Instagram, it's at Yasu Stories. I post there a lot of fall pictures right now. Um, so a lot of fall content if you want that, but just in general, general nice pictures in my opinion. And uh, I will see you next Monday in my next video. I hope that you guys have a great week and a great day, and I'll see you then. Bye.